Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to our daily devotion. We are we are on God's highway and uh, we are on the fourth episode, which is the armor, the whole armor of God. You know, even as we are on the highway, the enemy would want to make sure that uh, we are not concentrating on the highway and we are not accomplishing that which you need to do or even keeping to our lane in the highway. So he will try to make sure you are off track so that you don't accomplish the journey or even don't complete the journey well. But I am here to let you know that our God has given us powerful uh, armor that will keep uh, will, will keep the enemy away. But you, you have actually to make sure you have this armor, you know it and you have been trained on how to use it. The problem with it, you can have the armor and you're not trained on how to use it. You can have vessels, utensils, things that you have, but if you do not know how to use them, then they are of no use. Just as you can have even the armor of God, but if you don't know how to use that armor, you are surely going to be in trouble because the enemy is making sure that you are not, you don't even know where your armor is or you don't even know how to use it. There is no soldier that will be allowed to go into the battlefield without getting the training, fully trained to get into the battlefield because they can actually cause damage. Actually, he can cause all the other soldiers to be destroyed. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18, um, I'm reading from English Standard Version. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of the evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end keep a lot with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints now the, yes, you have heard about this, this, um, this armor, the full armor of the Lord that you need to have so that you can stand against the schemes of the devil. Even as you are moving on in the journey, on the highway, you are going to actually stand against the schemes of the enemy who is on your side trying to make sure you are not focused on what God has called you to, to, to do and even to, to accomplish. You know what? This journey or this uh, warfare is not carnal. It is not flesh and blood, but we are actually against the powers of darkness. We are, called, they are, we, we are against the authorities and rulers of, this, of the cosmic powers over, which are over this darkness or against the, the spiritual forces of, the, of evil in the heavenly places. So that is why we are going to make sure that we have that during that evil day, when that evil time comes, when the enemy really wants to attack, the enemy will not find you not um, not putting on the armor. You must have this armor put in. You have to have it on. You have to stay with it. You have to sleep in it. You have to, as you're eating, you have to have this armor on all the time because the highway you are on is not an easy highway but it is going to be smooth if you're going to allow the Lord to make sure that every power, every uh, every armor that you're supposed to put on is at its proper place and at the proper uh, properly fixed so that you can accomplish this journey well you know that uh, you know the, the the enemy um I mean every soldier who goes into the battlefield does not go empty-handed the, the, you, because we must have offensive weapons strapped on. 
soldiers never forget their battle gear. Their life depends on that battle gear. Christians are in the spiritual battle all the time. You know, all the time. It's not that there's a time you're not in this in the warfare. And if you're not on warfare, then there's something that is not right. That means you're not alert. You're not you're not aware that the enemy is there wanting to get you out of track. You have to know that the spiritual battles are not really visible, but they are real. The spiritual battles are real. Even if they are, you don't see them, they are real and they are there. Well, we have the enemy, the enemy of our souls. But God can never, will never and has never left us defenseless. We make sure we have the defensive uh, 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 weapon that will make sure that uh, we have this spiritual uh, armor that will help us to stand firm against the spiritual attack. So you make sure that uh, you want, one of the things you need to make sure you have is the belt, uh, the belt of truth. And the belt of truth it actually um, holds together the entire outfit, the entire uh, um, the entire uh, attire that you wear. It is actually put together or held together by the belt. The foundation of our Christian faith is Jesus Christ, who is our truth. He is the truth. Jesus is known as the truth. So that is why you must have Christ having putting on uh, put on Christ so that he can. Uh, hold everything together for you and you also be able to uh, to defeat the enemy the word of god is housed um, is 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 housed in the absolute truth the, you know the believer whose life is controlled by the truth will actually defeat satan the father of lies because satan is known as the father of lies he has been a liar from the beginning, he has never said any truth and he'll never tell the truth. So that is why we need to make sure we have the whole armor, or the, especially the armor of truth buckled around us so that we are able to defeat the enemy. Make sure that this belt of truth is buckled firmly around you and you are going to win every battle. Then you know that... Um, um, also, another example is the, the sol uh, soldiers and the police officers. They take extreme good care of their weapons. That is, their knives are sharpened, guns are oiled, you know, um, and they have to know how to use them properly because, you know, one day they will need them. Um, the sword of the spirit is actually the word of God. It is our only offensive spiritual weapon. Jesus actually used this to, uh, to, to get rid of Satan's temptations in the wilderness. That is in Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. Please make sure you read that and see how Jesus was able to overcome the enemy through the word. He was victorious. We can be triumphant too if we follow Jesus' example by making sure we have the word. The word of God will never depart from us. We must choose not to listen to Satan's lies because the enemy wants us to listen to him. He will pretend that he's telling you the truth, but he will, there is no truth in the enemy. God is our only truth. Let's focus on the truth because the truth is going to guide us in this life. So without actually this truth, without the word of God, we are lost. The truth of God keeps us centered on what is real and factual. You have to become familiar with the Bible. It will enable you on how uh, to on uh, to use it and how um, and when you're using it, you're saturating also your mind with God's word. It's going to help you uh, design His truth from Satan's lies. You can tell the difference between the truth and the lies, and that is only when you are focused in reading and studying the Word of God. Make sure you memorize the Scripture. Because if you memorize the scripture, it's going to enable the Holy Spirit to recall the truth in order you can counteract the enemy's lies. There is no way you are going to overcome the lies of the enemy if you don't have the truth of the word in you. You must read the word, you must memorize that word so that that time when the enemy will attack and especially knowing the areas where 
probably you you're not he you are not even probably aware of the word he wants to make sure he, you are off track especially when it comes to the word of god so if you don't memorize it they you, you not have anything where the, the 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 holy spirit will be able to retrieve that weapon that will fight against the enemy for you so you make sure that the the, the war the warfare has been won and can be won at any time because you have the word of god right inside of you to make sure you overcome the enemy so make, let's use the word of god and use it well and allow the holy spirit to uh, to use this word so that we can uh, come against the powers of darkness and now um I ask you to make sure that as you continue to pray, because prayer is the one that is going to make sure that the, all the weapon is put on together properly because you are praying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are praying to the God our Father and the prayer is going to be to overcome the powers of darkness. Let me tell you, be prayerful. With the word and you being prayerful, you surely make it on the highway. You are going to win. God bless you for now as you purpose to be a winner in putting on the whole armor of God. Yes, probably we've not talked about the entire armor, but what we have touched for today is can make you um, uh, actually be on a high speed on the highway and you are not going to get to fall in the hands of the enemy because you are going to be a winner. For now, may the Lord bless you as you continue to walk in his ways and as you purpose to just be on the highway of our God in making sure you have the whole armor. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundance Glory International Ministries, Mother to the Amazing Champions. These are the wonderful children the Lord has given us to take care of and even to see God doing mighty things in their lives as they become victorious. And when they become victorious, that is our joy. We also have, uh, we am also mother to the um, to the CMCs. That is the church ministers' children. And if there is any minister there, please know that those children, uh huh, God has given me to take care of them. Uh, so you make sure that uh, you DM, uh, so that I can uh, we can get connected with those children. We are moving to another level. I'm telling you, God is using them powerfully and in a special way. There are things probably you have not, that have not been revealed about your children. Your children are very special and uh, God is going to use them powerfully. Just uh, let us get connected and even see what God has in store for those wonderful children. At the same time, listen, I also pray for them every day. I remember them and lift them before the hands, the eyes of the Lord, because God has called me to intercede for them. At this time, I also ask you to um, log into our website at www.agracem.org and uh, partner with us and uh, be prayerful. Pray for us too as we continue to do the work of the kingdom and as we continue even to pursue the things of the kingdom and remain focused in the highway, in God's highway. Also, follow us on YouTube and Facebook. That is at Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki and also at Karuki Bishop Dr. Grace. And I ask you, please, just uh, comment. You can even just say an amen. And also at the same time, uh, as you should write your comment on what God is doing, in your life as you are focused in his highway and as you're putting on the whole armor please um let's hear those comments and uh, share let as many people as you have as you know also hear this word and god is going to bless you and uh, let me know when you'd want also to share um on our platform especially the cmcmn uh, let me know when you'd want to become a partaker of these blessings by sharing what God has in store for you, especially when it comes to the lives of the CMCs. Be blessed for now. I look forward to hear what God is doing in your life. And as we are also going to have episode five tomorrow and even have the CMC MN uh, telecast on Saturday. Be blessed for now. Shalom. Shalom.